Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Rise of the Ronin. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finally start on the main mission follow your blade twin so without further ado let's go ahead and get started ah you're back did you go anywhere since uh actually i did i went and visited the dojo i see so you worked up a good sweat you should visit the dojos in Edo sometime, too. That's not all I did. I went ahead and went gambling. Ah, oh, I see. Well, I hope you had some luck. Just make sure you don't get carried away. So, with all that being said, I heard something about you being able to help me out? <laughs> Did Ryoma recommend me? I see his ability to connect people still surpasses my own. Listen, I have no problem helping you out. But I'll need a little something in return. Tell me, what do you make of the state of this nation? Here we are, with the Western powers circling us as we speak. And yet, the Red Demon speaks with America, and brooks no opposition. He is intent on signing a treaty, which will be a disaster for us. This is truly a critical moment for Japan. Who is this Red Demon? I speak of Lord E. Since he came to prominence, the oppression has escalated. You are right. This is a critical moment for Japan. So you agree. That makes me feel less alone. The time has come to instill a new start for this nation. That is what Master Shoin and I have sworn to accomplish. But at this critical juncture, my comrades' whereabouts are unknown. Once that treaty is signed, it will be too late. <sighs> If Sakamoto trusts you, then so will I. Our plan is to kill Harris, the American consul, and halt the negotiations. But in order to do that, we need more able warriors on our side. We would be grateful if you would see fit to join us. I have heard you are seeking the samurai who came on the black ship. Word is that they now serve as one of Harris's bodyguards. Once we attack the council, the one you seek will undoubtedly appear. This gives us common purpose, does it not? But there is no need to answer right away. If you wish to join us, meet us in front of the American consulate. I hope to see you there. really putting a lot of emphasis on anti-shogunate uh, and pro-shogunate and neutral missions okay is in white let's talk to taka looks like we can go straight over there let's see what taka's got to say real quick She must be pro shogunate. I think she's a spy for the shogun, if I'm being honest. You're here. Oh, you have returned. 
I heard something rather interesting from Kichi. The American consulate is in a state of panic. It seems they're bracing for an attack from a group intent on taking Mr. Harris's life. A sympathetic soul must have let their tongue slip. Perhaps in the confusion, you could seize the opportunity to close in on Mr. Harris. I am sure the bodyguard with a demon claw will appear soon enough. Um, aren't you worried about Harris? His fate is of no real concern to me. If he were to die, another will soon take his place. I'll arrange to get you into the consulate. You'll join me there, won't you? Okay, yeah. Just as I thought. She's pro. That's anti. We're gonna go with anti. Maybe uh, when I play the game again, I'll go with pro Shogun. How are you? Ah, so you came. The others are already in position. It seems security is tighter than we expected. Still, if we can get to Harris, the samurai you seek is bound to appear. If we join forces, we'll all get what we want. So, what do you say? Um, sure, I'll help you. Splendid. Now, let's wait for our chance. Hmm. I like, uh, Ryoma, Ryoma. I don't know, I'm really bad with names. I apologize, everybody. Go, go, go! Go, go! Yeah! Oh. I have to switch weapons. Oh, they're both not good. Oh, whoa! Holy fuck a moly. Is there a way around? Let's go kill this guy. You! Shooting at me? <laughs> now I want the bow, man. shot his hat off which I don't think those hats had armor on them but okay we'll pretend that they do Prepare yourself. what that was lame I snuck up behind that guy Dead. Dead. Bring 
it on. I'm really liking this sword. So way up over here. Ooh. Chest. Prepare yourself. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's cool. Uh, I guess it was pointless to go up here. Foes. There's one of two. Oh, there's another guy over here. Swear to God, I better be able to assassinate you. <laughs> that shit was getting on my nerves. up guys what? Oh. <laughs> that actually went pretty damn smooth You know, I could be using this. This could show me where there's enemies. <gasps> Hopefully touching that doesn't respawn all the enemies. Ooh, what's over here? Bud. Doesn't seem like it respawned the enemies, but these guys are like super in my way right now. <laughs> Prepare yourself. You know, if you guys weren't in my way, I would have been able to assassinate that guy, but, you know, who'd want to do that? Um, there's a guy on that turret over there, the machine gun. That's why we didn't go in the front door. Is there a way around? God, you guys are so freaking noisy. Oh, look at you. Dead. Oh. Take this. Come on, guys. No. Uh, did not mean to <laughs> do that. I am so stupid sometimes. Oh, look at that guy. 
Poison did some damage to him, though. Awesome. Oh, got a ballroom key. Healed everybody. Let's talk to this guy first. Don't rush. Take your time. Stored fifty six. Um, I do like having these. I wonder two. how you use it. Um, is that all? Maybe forty four will do it. Is that all? Yes, that's. All <laughs> sure thing. Um, don't have enough. Thanks for your patronage. Let's go over here, see if we can't sneak up behind good old. Here we go. Nope, <laughs> couldn't sneak up behind him, but. At least he can't shoot us. Can we go down there now? Maybe that's the easiest way to get through here is taking out that guy first. Oh, look at these guys. Garden right over here. <laughs> There's another guy over here. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can get over there from here. You guys just like don't care if you come barging in. Yourself, you Didn't see anything else in here, so I'm guessing that's all. All right, let's go in. You won't lay a finger on me. Man, that sucks. We have to fight our blade twin. Not too bad. Not good enough. Oh. 
Your skills remain as sharp as ever. Come on, is that all you've got? She's got some dope ass moves. Oh my easy. god, woman. Okay, yeah, I, I get it. God. Yeah, want to help me out, guys? I would hope not, though. Oh, she healed herself? That was interesting. Now I'm even more confused on why my blade twin wants to kill me. Or stop me at least. Ah, you're alive and well. That is a relief. You know, it seems you really were born lucky. Not that everything went smoothly, of course. Harris got away, I understand. Did you find that samurai who came on the black ship? Yes, but they ran away with Harris, unfortunately. So, even one as gifted as you was foiled. But getting that close to Harris was no minor feat. The Americans were ready for us. It's almost as if someone tipped him off. Stop that nonsense. I know how you feel, but this wild speculation helps no one. The treaty will be signed, no doubt. We must accept that. But we will not give up. The Red Demon and the Americans may be looking for you, but we will aid you. We're in the same boat now, after all. Well, until next time.
In spite of Harris's close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. So I wonder what would have happened if I chose the other way. Oh, hey. Oh, it wants me to send it on a pilgrimage. Sure, why not? Huh. What are you doing here? Welcome back. Did you have a taxing day? I have been waiting for you. There is something I would like your help with. It has me so excited, I had to sneak out to find you. You see, I would like to start a cat concierge business. Don't misunderstand. You did such a good job finding them and lifting my spirits as well. But I have come to realize that, without me, my cats are all alone in this world. As such, they require some amount of socialization. Besides, I am sure that they are eager to repay you as well. After all, you went to such lengths to find them. Um, what exactly is this cat business of yours? I have heard that there are people who would really like a cat for one reason or another. Perhaps we could lend my lovelies to them. For a fee, of course. Sure, I can help you out. Wonderful. Then I shall entrust these lovelies to you. Okay, it's just, uh, more side stuff. Um, what is this over here? Peace negotiations? Let's look at all our side missions real quick. Let's start with this one, which is right there. Yokohama Grand Villa. It's white, so hopefully this isn't helping the Shogun. With this discovery, you will have access to coal in Japan. You shall never need to worry about fuel again. You have not disappointed me. Please continue to look into this matter. Well, speak of the devil. My friend, perhaps you would like your reward now. Truly, I am in your debt. Come now, take what you've earned. Commodore, this is my, excuse me, our friend I was telling you about. It's thanks to them we were able to secure the coal. Mark my words, your fame is about to far exceed your brother's. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. Till next time. I heard you helped Samuel out. 
Um, it wasn't any trouble at all. There's no need to be so modest. I'm much obliged. Never mind that. I remember your face, you know. <laughs> no need for alarm. Your partner told me all about you. You're somewhat surprised, I'll wager. But it's true. I rescued your partner. And fear not. What is past is past. Um. You're most kind. Thank you. Well, if you wish to balance your ledger, I've got some work you can take on. My men seem to have got into the habit of brawling with expulsionists in the port. I want it stopped. If we fought them openly, our standing with your great nation would suffer. But there need to be consequences. What do you say? Would you kindly give a taste of justice to those expulsionist thugs for me? And listen. I know you people are warriors and all, but I don't want a bloodbath. That's in nobody's interest. Should there be casualties, I fear we shall become even more unwelcome. Do what you can, you hear? All right. No kill missions. Ah, okay. I don't think I have any wooden stuff. I do, but they are very um low level. I mean, I get it. They're wooden, but eh. Let's put a lock on that and we'll take it off. I do like this new sword that I'm using. Let's get closer to the area over here. Kind of prefer the sword that I'm using now. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We're going to put our fists on. Because we don't want to kill anybody over here. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, look at this one. You one of their pals? Never seen him. What do you want? Um, you know, violence isn't always the answer, right? Really? Go tell that to those fools. These barbarians have been terrorizing the local fishermen. And we won't stand for it. Not against our people. You filthy liar. We were just teaching them about the good old U.S. of A. You're just looking for excuses to pounce on us. Oh, all of these look like they're gonna be a brawl. How about we bury the hatchet? Considering it's Perry's orders, you know. Commodore say that? I guess we got no choice. No more trouble. Scout's honor. Yeah, you got off easy, you sons of bitches. Bet you're all thanking your lucky stars right now. You've got some nerve. Time to put you out of your misery! Uh, Who to see? <laughs> 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 See, I always feel like I timed it right, but that's not. 
Sorry for letting you fight all of them alone. <sighs> Things have finally cooled down. You know, all them foreigners did was ask about our whaling techniques. Even said they'd show us some of their grappling moves in return. They weren't causing any trouble to no one. That's like he says. We were just showing him some wrestling moves. Thanks for clearing that up. My pleasure. By the by, I don't know how much good it'll do to tell you, but... I heard a fellow talking with one of those expulsionist samurai. Something about persuading the court's big shots to stop trading with other countries. And if that happens, those foreigners will have to leave, won't they? It just doesn't sit right with me. Ooh, we got a foreign book. We can go uh, upgrade at the technology stuff. Ah, I was one. I'm glad to see you. Are you though? Um, he likes these. Why don't we give him two? Couldn't be happier. Really? That would be great. Okay. What would you like me to work on? What would you like me to work on? And I guess we just got to continue the story to be able to get this stuff. I have a hunch you will be back again. Am I right? Probably. Good job. Missions. I don't like how it starts me all the way down at the bottom. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, let's talk to him. And we need to put our swords back on. Perry's over here. Ah, it's you. It seems you took care of that trouble between my men and the expulsionists. You did well to bring them to heal without anyone getting killed. Well, either way, that's one less worry for now. There's a scheme in place to halt negotiations. Did you know that? Hmm. Your word is proof enough for me. This is the evidence I've been waiting for. That very official will be at the British Trading House, where I'm planning to pay a call and present him with a gift. I want you to carry the gift and take the opportunity to sniff around. And if they're really plotting something, kill them. Am I clear? If you've got something to say, now's the time. Um, I don't think he'll like that. No, there's nothing in particular that I can think of. I'll go get it done. Glad I don't have to ask you twice. Now, if you're clear on the particulars, you'd best get started. Sure, I'll go get started now. 
Very well. I am confident your efforts won't be for nothing. The gift I'm talking about needs to be picked up from English House Number One. Once you've got it, take it to the British Trading House. Don't let me down. I don't know why we're helping Matthew Perry out if we're not on his side. Looks like we're running over there. Puppy. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like enemies. Oh, yeah. Let's get this last guy. I can breathe again. Whew. That was a little scary. Thanks for chasing those guys off. They think every Westerner's an enemy. Tell me, are they all such good for nothings? Um. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, actually, Perry sent me. Oh, right. Then I'll get to business. Kentucky bourbon, the finest you can find. It's in the room back there. Feel free to go on and take it. You uh, you better drink that stuff neat, though, okay? Can I get up here? I can. Wasn't sure if I could jump high enough. What's this? If you're the bodyguard, then I'll deal with you first!
So, it seems things have calmed down somewhat. Well, you made it at last. Trouble, I suppose. Um, yeah, I had a little trouble with an assassin. Hmm. So what's the situation? It seems the British have already taken care of him. All it took was a certain golden cake and some scotch. Well, anyway, it saved us the trouble of having to do something ourselves. Forgive the delay, but allow me to present you with some of our nation's finest bourbon whiskey. I hope you enjoy it. So, this is America's famous bourbon. This is welcome indeed. Relations between our great nations will remain amiable as long as I have anything to do with it. It seems negotiations will continue. I owe you my thanks. That's enough. You may consider your ledger balanced. That's right. You're off the hook. Um, good to hear. Sorry for all the trouble. In fact, I've actually prepared something special by way of thanks. Drop by the Grand Villa in Yokohama, won't you? See you around, Blade of the Veiled Edge. Commander's Saber? Uh, it looks like Matthew Perry's a romanceable character as well. Let's see. Eh, it's not that good. Neither is that. He said come see him at Yokohama Grand Villa, so let's go over there. There you are. I wanted you to have this. You worked hard, after all. I think we should stay in touch in the future. You amenable to such an idea? Um, of course. We're fast friends by now, aren't we? Friends, huh? I guess we are. We shared a cause, and now I've got my first Japanese friend. See you around. Let's go do the Seed of Doubt. Where is that at? Oh my goodness, this is way over here. Sorry to cut to the chase, but this is important. I received an anonymous letter the other day, challenging me to a duel. In times like these, I doubt it'll be a fair fight. But if it's a trap, it's not a very good one, is it? Anyway, I need to know who I'm dealing with. Takasugi was going to help me, but the Shogunate is watching us. The Choshu can't afford to be associated with any funny business. Which brings me to my request. Will you come with me? It's a lot to ask, I know, but please, 
I could really use your help. Um... Sure, as long as I get to see your swordsmanship this time. Not that drunken shit that we seen last time. Come to think of it, you probably haven't seen it at all. I wasn't exactly in peak fighting condition when we first sparred. Despite appearances, I'm not too bad with a sword, you know. I don't intend to be outshined by you. The letter specifies a time and place. We'll leave when it's time. So, are you with me? Yeah, of course I am. I literally just said, let's go do this. Good. Thank you. As always. Right. Let's go. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you to come. After all, it has nothing to do with the samurai you're chasing. But I'm sure you have your own reasons. Over here! Get him! That fellow there looks the path. Are you ready? Oh, you can. Jesus. This guy was not playing around. Well fought, though I expected nothing less from one so brazen as to rebel against the Shogunate. This won't be the last time we meet, I am sure. By the sound of it, you've come here just to take the measure of me. Well, what would you do with him? Mm. Let him live. We might be able to figure out what he really wants. I see. I happen to agree with you. You're soft, Katsura. Just like they say. All eyes are on the Choshu now. And I don't just speak of the Shogunate. If we can end this peacefully, then we must. But the way he wielded his sword... Could he be from Sansama? And with that level of skill, why he must be... No. I shouldn't make assumptions. Well, with you as our ally, I know we can handle anything. Though I should admit, for a moment there, I wondered if you'd betray me. I always intended to protect you. You do understand that, right? <laughs> then I'm glad to hear it. I suppose I should make this the last time I ever doubt you again. Thank you.
Okay. Um, let's go over here. We'll do one more side quest and then we'll wrap up the video. Excuse me, but could I ask you to do something for me? Pray, will you listen to this poor beggar? I'm looking for my daughter and require your assistance. Jesus, this guy looks so bad. Um, please go on. I used to run a prosperous shipping business out in Nagasaki. That is, until my ships were wrecked in the great earthquake and I lost my wife to disease. In order to make a fresh start here in Yokohama, I put my daughter in a geisha house, telling her I'd be back soon. The poor child believed me. Then when my health started to fail, I went looking for her. And now I hear her contract's been bought, and she's gone away. Doubtless, it's too late for me to ask for forgiveness. But if I could have one last look, a photograph even, perhaps I could rest in peace. Um, can you describe your daughter to me? I haven't seen her in years. But she must be exceedingly beautiful, like her mother. Indeed, she has her mother's distinctive hair and features. You'll know when you see her. Dude, okay. <laughs> that gave me no information at all. But I guess I'll go find your daughter. Leave it to me. You're too kind. Now, my daughter's name is Risa. I would speak to the other geisha, but they refuse to see a beggar like myself. How far away is that? Let's hop on our horse. We'll ride over there. You saved my life. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Um, do you know a girl by the name of Risa? Risa? Yes, I used to work with her. Not many girls with names like that. Wait, did something happen to her? No, nothing happened to her. There's just something I need to tell her. A foreign merchant bought out her contract, and now they live together. Here, I'll give you their address. Um, I'll just ride over there. Go! It's really not that far. Oh, hey, another dog. <laughs>
Ooh. Really? Okay. I really must thank Thank you. Those expulsionists are truly an awful bunch. But tell me, why are you here? Um, well, I can see why you said her hair. How is it that you speak Japanese so well? Surprised? You see, my mother was Dutch, and my father Japanese. So you must be Risa, right? Your father sent me. My father? Why? What could he possibly want all of a sudden? He abandoned me years ago. Actually, he'd like to see you again, even if it's only a photograph. I know life's been tough for him. What with his business going under and mother passing? But I just started to forget about him. The selfish man. Ever since I can remember, my face has brought me nothing but pain. Even as a geisha, I had to dye my hair black. Well, that is pretty sad and tragic. But it is your father's dying wish. Is there any way I can convince you to take a photo for him? Is Papa really so ill? Very well then. You may take my photograph. Also, you can let him know that I'm happy. I'll let you take care of the photograph. I'm not ready to meet just yet, but I'll consider it once I've sorted out my feelings. That seems pretty fair. Oh. <laughs> Can't call my horse from over here. But it's right here anyways. <laughs> Did not mean to <laughs> swing my sword at the horse. Oh, we'll just fast travel. took the photograph. Well, show it to me. Sure. Ah, oh, Risa. Goodness. Look how beautiful she is. I really can't thank you enough. You've really given me hope. Um... Okay, cool. We uh, got some bond level up there. Or the bond level up. I guess when we come back, we'll do this cause is mine. And we'll do all these side missions. And then we'll do Yokohama's Shadow. 
because I want to do all these side missions before we continue further. I guess we'll leave off... Somewhere right here. This looks like a good spot to leave off. Maybe right here. Little, little pretty scene in the background. Alright everybody, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It always means the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.